guys, I hope you are doing well. Um, I'm back. So, uh, we got a delivery for our little puppy. His name is Brownie. Hey, he arrived a few days ago. It's a really tough one. Yeah, he's uh, already 16, 17 kilos. We love him so much already. So I've been able to train at home, so that's awesome. And the CrossFit Marbella, they are amazing. They have delivered equipment for me. So we got the weight plates, so I can lift out there. But we need to we need to order some like um, pieces of wood or like plywood, so we can have like a platform, lifting platform. Because you see, when I drop weight, it's just digging like my own graveyard here and so many holes everywhere but for now using this mat from the games on top under its tiles they attempt to break if you hit them a little bit but this is just leftovers from the renovation this summer so it's awesome that we have so many like you see they've been breaking a lot we have some left but we're gonna order some wood so we can uh, build a platform I put the rings here so they're hanging down from the balcony so I can do toaster rings and uh, I'm gonna try to do some uh, like maybe keeping pull up, I don't know. I can do strict muscle up, it's too short to do keeping muscle up so I can bring them down a little bit so that it's really something and I'm gonna take the rope that we have as well put here so I can do rope climbs, seated rope climbs. Uh, we have enough weights for yeah, the lifting. Uh, Dumbbells 40 kg, 17 and a half kg, and 20 kg. Weighted vests and bags, wall balls, heavy light, pellets, chalk, uh, barbells from Eleiko, so that's awesome. Good barbells uh, box, uh, so I can do, I'm gonna try to do some back squats or front squats from them. If you turn around and put some plates on, just has to be careful. I got the rower today, uh, I got the salt bike and also we have one biker. So we have pretty much everything we can use here and everything we need. So I think we're gonna be fine. Also we have one sandbag and that's, that's awesome. Um, so basically the home is just a place for all the equipment now. It's a home gym you can say. It's a bit messy but you know like it's better to have a mess so I can train than you know not be able to train at all. Also this one so I can do weighted pull-ups and that's awesome. Hopefully the balcony is gonna not crash down on me when I'm doing all the gymnastic stuff because I'm already about 100 kilos and if I add 40 more kilos it's gonna be 140 kilos and then it might break, I don't know. Hopefully not. We'll see. We'll try it out. So we're in the lockdown here and it's super strict rules. Uh, my training is uh, well, I'm doing, gonna do the Rogue, it's gonna be online uh, competition. So it's nice that it's still on, I'm super happy about that and it gives me extra motivations to train at home. The competition is in, uh, in 10 weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do what I can and the training for now on is gonna look like I have uh, mixed uh, weeks for two weeks and then it's gonna be more and more CrossFit. And hopefully gonna be able to get back to the gym soon so I can train better. Uh, lucky for me it's uh, not conditioning season then it would be much more boring to just sit on the machines. Uh, but then it's gonna be weightlifting and yeah I can pr pretty much do anything here. Uh, it's kind of nice to be outside and train. It's good weather you know I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna do a few training sessions on the terrace on the top roof because I need some environment change. And of course, I put a lot of time in this magic room. So now I don't play PUBG anymore. It's too much fucking problem with the game. So I play Modern Warfare Warzone and that's fucking amazing. Love it. Here is what I put the rings. Feels pretty solid and I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, we're gonna try it out, but uh, yeah, we'll see. 
He really loves my map. I don't know why. The view here is amazing. As you can see, but I don't want to drop any weights or heavy things here because I don't know if the roof would crack and in end, you know, like, I don't know, fall in. So, yeah. And it's pretty hard to take all the stuff up here, but it's some kind of training, I guess. Because we're not allowed to walk except with the dogs, but you can't do that all day. So it's nice to maybe move around as much as possible at home. But I was thinking of taking the rope and I can just pull it up like one floor at a time. Maybe. Probably gonna do the uh, conditioning sessions here. So have a nice view. Probably not for the road, you're not gonna see so much, but with the bikes. Hey! He loves to be up in the, in the terrace here. I don't know why. Here go. Come back. And this is Walter's own bedroom. So when we're sleeping, uh, he wants to be there for 10 minutes, then he goes in here and sleeps by himself, it's kind of nice. He's a pretty big dog, it's nice to have him in the bed, but yeah, he takes too much space. Yeah, this guy has a lot more energy than Walter, but Walter, he's really, really nice to him. Like, it's... <laughs> so, now when I'm home so much, I want to take some time and talk about shoe selection. Metcon, Flyknit. Pretty light shoe, easy to put on. Um, this is a shoe that I would have for a workout that is uh, probably just a lot of gymnastic. This is the Vapor Fly shoe. Uh, it's a really good running shoe, super light. I think I weighed it, it was like just a 200 grams or something like that. And it's proven to make your PR your time and uh, be faster. It's gonna be awesome to try them out after the quarantine because I got them just before. Quarantine started. Yeah, pretty excited. Here's my favorite chill out shoe. It's the Metcon 3X. It's uh, the shoe that I use when I go to the gym. Sometimes I train in it as well. Uh, it's really stable, it's a good and it's a light shoe. I could use this Metcon as well, but I prefer the Metcon a little bit more. But these looks way, this looks really, really cool and more casual too. Regular clothing, maybe, or I don't use regular clothing. I just arrive to the gym in the same gym clothing that I have on the gym, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But I like to wear this to the gym, though. I love to run intervals in these vapor mask shoes. They're also proven to help your PR, your running time, and it's uh, like uh, air in them. And you, I feel really stutzy, dunky, 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 when I run in them. This is the Metcon shoe. Of course, you already know that. Uh, the new model, I love them. They are so comfortable. They also come with an extra heel. So when I'm doing pistol, I just put in a heel. Or if I'm doing semi-heavy uh, lifting in a workout, I will use these two. They're super stable. And yeah, this is the most, the, the shoe that I use the most. This is my favorite long distance running shoe. Actually, they look kind of shitty because I've been using them a lot. I have uh, plenty more. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite one for long distance. So this is the Trail Run shoe from Nike, it's a new one. It looks pretty cool, it's awesome. Uh, and this is the one I, I would use in Sweden if I'm out running in the, in the forest or if I would be out uh, more like in the forest here or more in the like um, off-road places in Marbella. I usually never use normal clothing. Uh, but when I do, I use these ones because they are super fly and I love them. The lifting shoe that I use, love them. I'm waiting for the four ones though. Excited to try them out. But these ones work super fine. Light, you can use them in workouts. Can also, for me, like I said, run short distancing in them because yeah, I'm running on my toes. It's not for the best, but yeah, I can. I want to. Actually, I did a competition in Greece many years ago and it was Heavy pistols with like weighted pistols with 
seated leg row climb and it was I think 400 meter runs like four times then I actually used lifting shoes and this is Walter's favorite shoe all time uh, he used a lot of shoes down here as well for his feet because it's the ground is so hard but uh, yeah this is the his favorite ones and this is his flippers or slippers flippers is when you I don't know, die so he had something to grow in uh, and yeah he uses them when he's inside and do a gymnastic session put up the rope from the balcony hopefully it's not gonna break and I'm gonna fall down putting some weight in the back I'm doing six set of one uh, seated leg lift rope climb with increasing weight in the back. <coughs> Did some weighted ring pull ups as well, increasing weight and now I'm doing handstand hold practice. I'm done for today. So I started the day with intervals on the rower and then ending the day with some gymnastic, strict gymnastic stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I see you soon. So I bought myself uh, a sleeping cave. Uh, I heard that uh, that helps your testosterone level rise a lot. So uh, from now on I'm sleeping in my cage. Uh, it's a pretty big one, but yeah, you can see I can fit a lot, I can move around and uh, I do anything to win the CrossFit Games. So yeah, if I can get, you know, 1% uh, extra, um, this is perfect. <laughs>